Hey, what's up YouTube? Jeremiah Hersey here. Welcome back to the next PL300 test prep question. Today we're looking at a question relating to dimension and fact tables and creating a relationship that is going to relate the two. Now, we've talked about this in other videos, so I'm going to do a quick preview before we jump into the test prep question. Let's go ahead and get started. So when we're talking about the difference between a dimension table and a fact table, we have to understand that a dimension table is going to be descriptive in nature. And this is a unique list of items. And so you can see here in the blue that this is our dimension table. And so it is going to contain a unique list of customers or a unique list of products or a unique uh, geography locations that we're going to relate to our fact table. And so the ideal relationship between a dimension table and a fact table in Power BI is what's known as a one to many where the dimension side is the one side and the fact table is going to be the many side denoted by this star character here. So this is what's known as the many side of the relationship because there can be many different transactions or many different sales with inside of this fact table. So a fact table is essentially whatever you're measuring. And so as we start to understand the relationship that's created between these two tables, we have to understand that the relationship is defined by what's known as a key column. This is a column within both of the tables and in the dimension table, it's going to be unique. And so we can use things such as the customer ID. So with a customer, we could have a customer ID that's going to appear one time in the dimension table and many times in the fact table. For products, we could have something like the product ID. And so once again, this is going to occur one time in the dimension table. That's why it's the one side of the relationship. And in the fact table, this product ID can occur multiple times. That's why it's on the many side of the relationship inside the fact table. So as we start to think about how we're gonna create this relationship, we have to identify a key column that is essentially the same column in both of the tables, but in the dimension table, it's going to be unique. It only happens one time, and in the fact table, it can happen multiple times. So let's go ahead and take a look at our test prep question. The question says you build a report to analyze customer transactions from a database that contains the table shown in the following table. So we have a customer table that has a customer ID. Notice that it's indicating that it is a primary key. We also have the name, the state, and the email associated to the customer. In the transaction table, we have a transaction ID, which is the primary key. And we also have a customer ID, which is known as a foreign key. So this is a separate key used to identify relationships in the table. And we also have the date and the amount of the transaction. So it says that we import the tables which relationship should you use to link the tables? And so the first thing that we want to identify is what we could potentially use to create a relationship between these two tables. So as you're starting to look at this question, you want to identify what is the same. And so we can see here that the customer ID is going to occur in both of these tables. So the customer ID is in the customer table, it's also in the transaction table, and this is essentially how we can relate the two. So as we've identified the relationship that we're going to use, we now start to think, okay, what side of the relationship is this going to be? And so anytime we have a unique list of customer IDs, like we see here is the primary key in the customer table, this is going to identify that this is going to be the dimension table. And we know that the dimension table is the one side of the relationship. As we look at the transaction here, the transaction, we see that it can occur multiple times. So if you think about Amazon sales, right, you have a unique customer ID for your Amazon account, but you can order multiple items from Amazon and that would be tracked in the transaction table. So one customer ID can have multiple transactions inside of that transaction table. And so this is going to be 
our fact table. So we have our dimension table is gonna be customer, that's gonna be the one side. Our transaction table is going to be the fact table or the mini side of the relationship. So let's look at our options here. So as you read this, you have to make sure that you follow in the correct order. So as I look at option A, it says one to many from transaction to customer. So it's telling us here that the one side of the relationship is the transaction table. Well, we know that the transaction table is going to be the fact table and that's the many side of the relationship. So as we read these answer choice options, we have to make sure it's in the proper order. So one to many from transaction to customer is going to be incorrect because we know that the transaction table is the many side of the relationship. So then we have option B says one to one between customer and transaction. So what a one to one relationship means is that the customer table has one customer ID and the transaction table is only going to have one record associated to that customer. Well, we know that one customer can have multiple transactions. And so a one to one relationship is not correct because we can have multiple transactions for a single customer. So option B is also going to be incorrect. Option C says many to many. So a many to many is essentially the opposite of a one to one. So many to many means that there are going to be multiple customer IDs, the same one in that table and multiple transactions based on that customer ID as well. And so we know that with this being a primary key, so it tells us up here at the top that the customer ID is a primary key, it means it is unique. So anytime you see in a question that this is a primary key, this is telling us that this is unique. And so we see that the primary key, the customer ID is unique. And in the transaction table, the transaction ID is also unique. But as it relates to a customer here, we see that the customer ID is a foreign key. That means it can happen multiple times. And so with that, we know that this is not going to be a many to many relationship because the transaction ID is the primary key in the transaction table. So this option C is incorrect, leaving us with D, a one to many from the customer to the transaction. And we know that the customer is going to be the one side because it's the dimension and we know that the transaction table is going to be the mini side and so the correct answer is option D one to many from the customer to the transaction table I want to thank you so much for joining me if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content I'll see you in the next one